guys, Sasha with FordRetrofit.com. Today I want to show you a little bit more about the um, reprogramming from the IPC, especially the all-wheel drive guard and then the idle and um, engine hour timers. So when you can see or what you can see when we go into display mode, we have the RPM guard, then we have heating temperature we have the miles and that's basically it and when we go into information and we go to system check and then we go down we have trunk and it ends with fuel and that's basically it right so nothing fancy nothing special so what we are going to do now is basically to reprogram it with the file I will provide Thin specific, like you probably read it already from other people. You have this file here, you put it into the folder um, structure here, and then in IDS you reprogram the cluster. So it will ask you, we say no, we say continue and we say automatic and if everything works it will tell you that the S build data was successfully received and we continue and then it will tell you to turn the ignition on so let us see what happens the ignition is on so I hit OK here and now it will reprogram the IPC Okay, and you see also in this file I enabled the lane assist. If you want to more, I need. If you want to um, know more about that, you can um, take a look into my other solutions on FordRetrofit.com. But if we go into the display mode, so again, right, we have the RPM. Then we have the RPM with the uh, heating temperature, and then. We have the intelligent or wheel drive guard. So you can basically see it's pretty neat. Um, you see the power distribution between the rear and front axle. So once I'm driving, which I can't show right now, but I think it's pretty self explaining, you will see how much power it distributes to the different axles. Very nice feature. Works obviously only if you have all wheel drive. So if we go back, I show you the second thing I just programmed. When we go to information again, you see driver alert. This is part of the lane assist. So check this video out if you want to know more about it. But if we go to system check now, we go down again. Remember it ended with fuel before. And now if we go down, we have two additional things, engine hours and idle hours. This is from the police interceptor function. So it basically counts uh, how long the engine was running and how long it was idling how many hours it's a gimmick but I like it and um, it's not a big deal to actually do it so again if you want to have these kind of coatings let me know uh, contact me on FordRetrofit.com and then um, I can create this file for you send it over and you either program it with your own diagnostic system from Ford if you have one which is obviously a little bit more expensive um, or you um, go to your Ford dealer provide this file and uh, he can actually do it for you thanks again if you have any questions let me know and uh, let's see what I'm coming up next with